Welcome to the stock workout where we flex on the market to make gains. In this video I'm going to be talking about Bionanogenomics ticker symbol BNGO. Now in this video we're going to take a look at the chart action because there is no new news that has come out regarding this. Earlier on in the week we had uh, a bit of news that came out about the appointment of their chief commercial officer um, which is why we did see another pop. However, since then we have seen a sell off so we're going to take a look at the charts do a bit of technical analysis on this. Now for those of you who saw my previous video I pointed out that a level of support the lowest level of support uh, was around this $7.80 range and we have decreased slightly below that. Uh, we closed on Friday at $7.58 down just under a percent for the day but that may be nothing to worry about because this is playing right into a certain formation. Um, I also pointed out that when I made my previous video, I pointed out that the first level of support was at $8.37, which we completely broke through, as you can see. And the level of resistance was $8.46, which we did break out of, um, but we weren't able to sustain that and the price did come down. So what I will do is I'll get rid of both of them lines and we'll take a look at where the chart action lies now. Um, so up on the screen, I've got the hourly chart. I've got the 21 day EMA alongside the 50, 100 and 200 day moving averages. I've got the volume and the RSI. So let's start off with volume. So volume on Friday was 12 million, 12.48 million. And the average volume in the last 10 days is 27.9 million. Um, as you can see, volume has been fluctuating slightly. It picked up mostly over here. And since then, the volume has been decreasing. Now the RSI on this stock currently is sat at 42. Anything above 70 is overbought, anything under 30 is oversold. So 42 is slightly below, below neutral. Uh, we are slightly oversold, however this may still be playing into that bigger picture um, and I'll get onto that in a second. Now if I zoom out a little bit and show you from here, we have been setting a series of higher lows and higher highs. So from here on out, we have been setting higher lows and also higher highs. So we are trending upwards. If I just draw a quick trend line from the bottom here, you can see over here, we've just been setting higher lows and higher highs. Now, that is a positive thing that is that's a good thing. That's something that we do want to look out for. So we are in a positive trend at the moment. Um, but on this hourly chart, we had this huge spike and then a, a decrease here. Now, in my opinion, that is looking like a bullish flag formation. Now, if I draw that on the charts as well, you can see here that here is the pole of the flag. So we had a huge run up and here's the compression of price action coming down here. And we will go roughly about to here, move that down slightly. Yeah, we have a flag formation um, forming there, maybe a bit of a pennant. Um, we're forming right there and we are looking for the next breakout. Now we broke through the support level that I mentioned at around $7.80. Um, and now we have also, because we have broke down below the 50 day moving average, the next immediate level of support would act like that 200 day, sorry, that 100 day moving average, 200 days down here, the red line, the 100 day moving average um, over here, this blue line, um, this dark blue line, this light blue line is the trend line that I've drawn that we are trending upwards. And that is pretty close to that 100 day moving average here. Now, with that being said, uh, that 100 day moving average will act like a level of support. So currently that comes in at $7.25. However, that that trend line is always moving. Um, another point as well, that price has really been compressed. Um, you can see here that flag is, is looking picture perfect. Um, from from this point of view, that flag is looking picture perfect. So in my opinion, we are primed for a breakout. Uh, we're looking for a breakout. Most of the time flags do break out on the upside. So we're looking for a breakout from that support level. I would put in at around this $7.25 because that's where the 100 day moving average is. Underneath that, we have a light level of support here at $6.82 and a sort of stronger level of support down here at $6.27. But I don't expect the price to retrace there because at this $6.27 um, or $6, around $6.27, um, 
that would be a hundred percent retracement and that is not something that we are looking for uh, we're not looking for the price to go up and come right back down to where it started no um so this flag formation um is looking like it's about to break out support level lies on this 100 day moving average so it might be worth uh, for those of you who do look at charts it might be worth pulling up your 100 day moving average and seeing where that is but we are looking like we are about to break out trend line is pointing upwards as well so we are in an uptrend we are setting a series of higher lows and higher highs and with this flag formation we're looking for that breakout so from a charts perspective, it's looking really healthy. Yes, we have seen the price decline from $9 all the way to $7.58, uh, but you need that for healthy price and healthy chart action. Uh, RSI is sitting just below neutral. So when we look for that breakout, and when we get that breakout, we want to see a spike in that volume as well. Volume's half of his 10 days average volume. So we need that volume and we'll push it out of this uh, flag formation and we'll break out on the upside. And hopefully then we will see that 21 day EMA cross back over that 50 day moving average too. So um, there you have it for this video. Brilliant flag formation forming seems like it's about to break out so continue to hold on this um support lies on that 100 day moving average which is currently at around seven dollars 25 um we have this uptrend going up uh that's it for this video if you appreciate that hit that subscribe button drop the video a like and i'll see you on the next one